Sam and today we are continuing onwards with Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, just want to make sure, yeah, what I figured out last time was when I was using the camera, I'm using my laptop's camera, um, I was like slicing half of my face off so I'm trying to see if I can get that a bit better just to not look like a half faces, half faced person. Okay, so uh let's see we've got some new stuff new music i remember there was for each poem there was different uh kinds of tunes for each individual person so it all depended on which poem you i read and day tone something like that um also new pictures should be the poems i probably yeah i probably unlocked these tomes poems not tomes, poems. Cool. So I can, whenever I want to, I can come back to these and reread them. Makes it a bit easier. And there's our first good capture of Sayori. Anything else that's new? Nope. Just that. So let's start off with a bang. Still wanted to just check. Is there any way to change the background? Huh. There we go. Ha ha ha! Achievement unlock error. Okay. Now let's see what else we got here. Seriously? Dude! I just got a side story from a wallpaper. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two videos tonight. I'll continue on with the normal story and then I will do the side story. This is gonna be awesome. Okay, before before I lose my shit, let's continue on with the Doki Doki Literature Club. And then I will get to that in a minute. I'm also trying to get these videos a bit shorter, so I won't be too long on these. Okay, here we go. As I read in Timdom, I watched each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows, Pharaoh in frustration, meanwhile Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can actually imagine that. What's with the with this language? It's like in a whisper. Ne? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. That was intentional. I I swear that's intentional. If someone does that, it's intentional. It's definitely intentional. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you com completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to, tr have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really doesn't come out uh, nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. She already liked it, and Sammy did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Sammy liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. 
Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in imp uh, in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? <laughs> That's not what I. Uh, you just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Sammy appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out on my way to make everything I do overly cute see. Um, is everyone okay? everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a, a size bigger as soon as Sammy started showing up. <laughs> uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! <laughs> I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turn towards me. As if they just notice, noticed I was standing there. Sammy! She just tried to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it. If she could go over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing, it more efficient, effective thing, this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making our poems all convoluted for no reason. The meaning you should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Sammy. But wait! There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings meaning them most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Sammy? Um, well... How do I get, how did I get dragged into the first place? It's not like I have, I know any, anything about writing. But whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. Of course, that's going to going to be. Really, I have to choose. Okay, I'm going for the trump card. Siori, I summon you. Atsuki, clear. Had me drying up any words I had in my mouth. So I, instead, I turn. So instead, I turn to Yuri. But Yori expression is so defenseless that I couldn't bring myself to say anything to her. See Yori! Eh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting to make Shiori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Sammy, well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Yuri wants to tell Yuri what a suck up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Oh, back to square one! Excuse me, are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing, because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing, because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are you fighting? But because, well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. 
And Julie's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. She said it, not me. Shiori. Shiori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with her wall. Bewildered expression. Well, I I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Yuri is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just seems Shiori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an air aid, but sometimes it's weird weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing I see take good care of her okay I would hate to see her get herself hurt I hate this I know what's gonna happen I know what's gonna happen to Shiori and I just clicked what that meant when she said there damn it that makes two of us you can count on me it was already Red flag, red flag. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to nod. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Sammy, how about you? Well, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So, your form will return turn out even better. True. The more experience you get, by doing stuff like this and reading others you might actually learn a thing or two I think to myself I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes with any luck that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress I nod to myself with newfound determination Sammy ready to walk home? sure let's go <laughs> Shuri beams at me it truly has been a while since Yori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Shiori, about what happened earlier, eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yori and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Sammy, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is make what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's hehehe. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It looks like Shiori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Shiori. I pat Shiori on the shoulder. I say that that more than to myself than to her but it it's easy to use Yori as an internal monologue sometimes okay yeah let's do this you found expert okay another 20 words once again Yori is the target 
And once you get her done, off the block. And whatever happens afterwards, I'll take it from there. Okay, so... Damn it. It's a big word. Uh, the fun is here. Peaceful, yeah. Uh, fireflies, fireworks, promise, leisure. Eternity, sunset, yeah. Uh, candy pure, tears, yeah. Um, kiss? Not good. Uh, dark? No, I think dark is with you. Um, Hop is definitely you. Party sparkle. I'm gonna try kiss, see what happens. Okay. I knew it couldn't be. Uh, playground, lipstick, unending. An ending must be you. Melody Holiday. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, adventurous. Laugh. Gay. Hurt. Joy. Suicide. Okay. Um, Fester. Chocolate. And anime, of course. Uh, Lucky. Okay, interesting. I, I must remember that. Lucky. Um, fear. Sadness. I think Rainbow is you. Shame. Clumsy. Cheer. Uh, sunny. Valentine, okay, you, Valentine. Jumpy, nope. Justin Cage, Fluffy, Disarray, Treasure, Misery, Misery, yeah. Um, got my last one to go. Um, shiny, okay, never mind. But it should be enough. Okay, I'm gonna be a, gonna do a few extra things into it and then I will do the side story. Okay. In the past few days, entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi Sammy! Yo, Shiori! Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hee <laughs> hee! I'm just still not used to you being in a club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you. you oh, anyway, speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Will you come with me uh, to buy a snack? No thanks, eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you, why don't we take a look at your purse, Siori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, so she retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles in the lash. <laughs> then she turns it upside down and lets her Content spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it! I can see it right through you, Shiori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted to, uh, an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that uh, conveniently forget that you spent all the money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing: you're always hungry, and so that's only 
leaving the oh, one option. Well, uh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> she already suddenly, you already suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening to anything. <laughs> I was just something in my book. <laughs> Yuri! Tell Sammy to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Yuri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't may, uh, ma uh, happen much, but it's fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That. Still. Coming from you, Shiori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Hehehe. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Shiori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, but. You wouldn't have come if I weren't. If it weren't for the cupcakes! So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Shiori. <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Shiori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ha! Ka! Ow! What's. What was. Eh? <laughs> a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Shiori glances over. It's. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my retribution! <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Not sucky! That's a, that's a nice of you. I'm so happy. She already hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. She already r rapidly tears open a wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Oof. She already suddenly clasps, clasps her hand over her mouth. I bite my tongue. Hehehe. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite from her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers! But yours is chocolate! Yeah? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Hehehe. <laughs> Shori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki when wrapping her arms around her. Oh, jeez! I get it, I get it, cookie still in hand. <laughs> Suki reaches out it's not up to nuzzle Shiori off of her. Oh! Shiori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of <laughs> I get I forgot about this! She took took a bite out of the cookie! Well played! <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? Full mouth, Yuri trots away into safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Yuri? Eh? That chicken glances around. Monica isn't in a club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? If you don't f think she... She has one, eh? Ha ha ha. 
I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Hey, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Okay, and this is where I'm cutting it for today. And a little later this evening, I will do that side story. I want to see that side story. That's new content. I haven't seen that at all. So, I'm going to do that video shortly. Enjoy the rest of the evening and stay safe out there in the world. And good luck.